Hey, what's up, everybody? This is another tutorial brought to you by PC Computers. Um, today, we're going to be talking about some quick tips that can be used in Windows Vista. Um, among these are how to get the old control panel, how to change the start menu power button, how to disable user account control, that nasty little pop up box, how to use the disk defragmenter, and finally, how to run old app older applications in compatibility mode. So, First, let's start off with the old control panel. So you're obviously just going to go into control panel, and you'll probably see this page. If you don't see this page, great. You probably have this page. But anyways, this page is horrible, and I hate the way Windows has done this, because if you want to find something, you have to go through all these different options, and sometimes you just won't be able to find it. If you click Classic View, all the options available to you in the control panel will be laid out right here. So if you click classic view, that's how to get the old better control panel back. Now, with the old better control panel, let's go to power options. And th now this is not related to the control panel. This is how to change the start menu's power button. Now if you look here in the start menu, the only reason that this is a power button for me is because I have to install Windows updates. Normally this would be a sleep button. So how we're, we're going to change this to a, the power off button, if you so choose, by going to the power options in the control panel. And under the one you have checked, so I have high performance checked, I'm just going to go to change plan settings and then change advanced power settings. And here I'm going to click the plus button next to power buttons and lid and then power or start menu power button excuse me and change the setting to shut down it'll probably be sleep you want to change it to shut down it is easier but if you don't want to again just preference but that's how you do it um, so now let's change this user account control now user account control many people already know it is that little annoying pop-up box that comes up every time you want to change something related to your computer so if you want to go see there it is there's user account control and it just asks you to continue or cancel and you always hit continue so what's the point well there is no point so to change that go to control panel and then user accounts and then there's the option to turn user account control on or off and there it is again see and so you're just going to click the or uncheck this box and then hit OK if you want to turn user account control off. OK, so now let's look at the disk defragmenter. I touched upon that in my last tutorial on how to partition a hard drive. And, the, and I said that um, your hard drive would be less, un, less cluttered if it was defragmented. Now the way we do that is we go to the disk defragmenter in your start menu. If you don't see it, just search for disk defragmenter. And here it is. And what this will do is um, if it's like if you go th if you try and uh, if you have a cluttered room, I guess, I don't know. What this is the best analogy. If you have a you throw your clothes on the floor in your room and you're looking for um, pink underwear. Yeah, you're looking for pink underwear and you have to move all the ridiculous piles of clothes to get to it. Well, if you clean your room and you put it and you put all the clothes in the drawer, then you'll be able to find your pink underwear easy. So what this defragmenter does is it cleans up all the files and puts them all together so that the disk can find the files easier. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that analogy too. So all you want to do is hit defragment now. And the other the other good effect is that it'll quicken up your hard drive, it'll free up hard drive space, probably improve the startup time of Windows Vista, and it'll also increase the amount of um, space you can shrink when you def when you um, partition your hard drive. So now the last thing we're going to look at is how to run older applications in compatibility mode. Now what this means is Windows Vista has some problems running older applications, certain older applications. Actually I think I was told one of them was um, Age of Empires, the game. And one of the fixes for that is to run it in compatibility mode for Windows XP. So it's almost like simulating how it would run on Windows XP. So let's say for instance, 
sorry. Let's say, for instance, uh, free cell didn't work for whatever reason on Windows Vista. Obviously, it does because it's installed with it. But for testing purposes, let's say it doesn't. To change the compatibility, you want to right click and go to properties. And in the compatibility tab, you want to click run this program in compatibility mode 4 and then click the drop down and you can do it from Windows 95 all the way up to Windows XP and um, that sometimes that's a good solution for a program that's not running properly so that's how to run something in compatibility mode and that was also a quick tutorial on some tips and tricks in Windows Vista I hope you enjoyed that um, I hope it was helpful and as always be sure to rate comment uh, subscribe and please check out our Facebook page Okay, bye guys.